Kim is on the line in Raleigh, North Carolina. Kim, you're on the Ken Coleman Show. Hi, Ken. Thanks for having me on the show and for taking time to help me. All right. So what's going on? <laughs> well, I am making a career move, and I have a resume question for you. Okay. Resume question is, how should I present my most recent experience as an asset since it is not directly related? Well, okay, tell me, um, tell me what your last experience was. Okay, so, and I should also clarify that I'm going back to a former career. Okay. But the latest, yes, so I spent 17 years, the bulk of my career, um, where I'm wanting to go back and apply now. And Which that was is what? In online did, that is as an online digital marker, marketer for a corporation. I spent my career doing it for high tech. Um, companies, but it doesn't necessarily have to be in high tech. Okay, um, now well, no, hold on a second. I'm, what what is an online digital marketer? Online digital marketer, in its most simplified form, is a marketing expert who uses di digital mediums such as Google Search, ads on websites, social media. Okay, got um, it. Okay, I, okay, I got forms you. Of tools. Okay, yeah, I got you. All right, so that's to, what you that's what you want to get back to. I do. All right. What was your last job that you're worried that is not relevant? Tell me what that is. Real estate broker. Okay. Tell me, describe for me very briefly, give me the bullet points. What did you do day to day, week in, week out as a real estate broker? Tell me what the functional roles were. Oh, well, they were very, very many. Um, from. <laughs> well, give me the big um, ones. Give sales. me that. You spent 80% yes. of your time doing what? Well, in the beginning, 80% of your time is spent on sales, and that is trying to target people um, and find people who need your help. Okay. What else? And so that's 80% of your job in the beginning. Um, a huge part of it is obviously being an advocate for clients, like understanding the ins and outs of real estate, knowing contracts, knowing laws, um, building relationships that are going to make it a smooth experience. Um, building systems um, that are going to make it a smooth experience for your client. Mm -hmm. um, there is a marketing component to it, obviously, so people know that you're in the business. So mm -hmm. I leverage some of that as well. Um, and, gosh, there are just so many things that I can't even okay, so let's press think, think all right. about all of them right now. Well, but that's okay. I'm not doing that to put you on the spot. What I'm trying to get you to verbalize are the actual day-to-day, on-the-ground functions that you were performing, the different skills that were needed to perform those functions. And when you start looking at it that way, to me, I got to believe it's, it's, it's very transferable towards going back to being a digital marketer. Because all you are is a marketer. You're not, you're not a digital marketer. Let's be honest. You're a marketer who is focusing on the digital space, Correct. Yeah, and there are some specialties to that, of course, but right. in, in bulk, yes. That's mm -hmm. right. But my point is, is that you're you're using digital strategies, strategy, sorry, and you're 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 doing things maybe a little bit different than traditional marketing. But at the end of the day, you're marketing. And if I go over and look at your last job, you were marketing. The first thing you said to me was you targeted. You had to target people who needed your help. So, knowing how to target people, to me is very relevant when you're doing digital marketing. So you're, you're focusing on that kind of language. So you're going, my role, my last role, I was targeting people. Um, I was then marketing to those people. And I was also, uh, I had to understand and listen to them. I had to understand their needs. Again, I'm not trying to be cute, but I think you're th overthinking it so much that all you have to do is is use the language from your previous career. Use the language that you would use in this return to that career. Use that language as a digital marketer. You know how they talk. Uh, my marketer is sitting in the studio right now. I'm looking at her. Kelly's looking at me. She's shaking her head. I just got to believe, Kelly, that Kim can use digital marketing language to describe some of the things that she did in this last role. Am I right? She is shaking her head and saying yes. So that means you should feel really good because she actually knows about marketing. But, Kim, that's all you got to do. <laughs> you just pull out some of the things that are transferable, skills and experience. So let me put it to you this way. You don't have to answer it. This is what your homework assignment is. You ready? 
Yes. What skills and what experience from this last job in real estate, what is transferable to this new role? You answer that, you're fine. You got it? And then how would you how would you um how would you highlight that on your resume? Well, I do it all for how you. How would you handle that? Exactly like I tell you to in my resume template. At KenColemanShow.com or KenColeman.com. Either one will work. Have you downloaded that? I have, actually. I have it right here in front of me. We'll do it that way right there. I, I walk you through it. Don't overthink it. This is about as plain and simple as you can be. My answer to your question is what I said to you well, uh, about a minute ago. Just describe the role. This is what Because I, I walk you through in that PDF what you're supposed to do with what I've done. And so list it out in language that this that this uh, the digital marketing folks are going to hire you over there, language that they understand. Relevant language. Your skills and experience are extremely transferable. So the way to describe it is the way that makes the most sense to somebody who wants to hire you. And you know what that language is. Yeah, and I actually believe, I've spent a lot of time thinking about it, I actually believe that even though it doesn't sound logical, in a sense, this, um, this experience has, I think, will actually make me a better digital marketer. Why? Tell me why. The business skills. It's because I have improved business skills that, in general, um, I'm able to take, um, I keep going even when I get the no's, first of all. Um, I just have a better sense of how to deal with the politics in a business environment just because I have to deal with so many different personality types and adapt there. So the business side in a corporate setting, it's very important to be able to handle that as well as be a great digital marketer Okay, so um, in terms so of career growth. What you just said is beautiful, and you just proved my whole point. It's like, it's like you just listened, and you began to embody what I was saying. And you just explained to me how your past job actually makes you better at being a digital marketer. You just went ahead and did the deal for yourself. So I would say that in the interview. (laughs) You know, say, hey, I did this for 17 years. Then I went over here. And now what I realize wanting to come back over here is that this experience of the last X amount of years is going to make me better. And here's how. And all of a sudden, I'm sitting across the desk from you going, man, Kim's impressive. I like that. Kim's got experience. Kim's got skills. And, oh, Kim's got different perspective. I like Kim. That's what I'm going for. It's going to happen. So do what I tell Thanks you to do. Thanks for that, Ken. I appreciate that. Yeah, well, absolutely. Listen, you got this. This is all about you just confidently walking back into that space going, hey, I'm triumphantly returning to digital marketing with a lot more experience. And I've learned so much about business. I want that. And, and, and by the way, you know what? Here's a, here's a quick review. I'm going to get to Krista here shortly. Krista, hold on. I want to say this to people out there that are hiring. You ought to want people like Kim who have a lot of experience in your specialty, but for a season had some other experience somewhere else. Fresh eyes, different perspective is a good thing. So there, there's a little commercial for Kim. If you're in Raleigh, North Carolina, and you need a digital marketer, you need to hire Kim. You can email you can email the show. Sorry, Joe, I hit the uh, off button. I'm so excited. I'm throwing my hands around the studio. I turned my mic off, folks. I'm, I'm so excited because this is my vision. I want our audience to hire each other. So if you're in Raleigh, North Carolina, here's what I was saying before I turned my mic off, and you need a digital marketer, you ought to contact the show. Ask at KenColemanShow.com. Tell Madison you want to get a hold of Kim and hire Kim. There we go.